Wow, wow, wow. This is something we weren't expecting. Uh, we've got another asset drop from the Wheel of Time official account. I haven't watched it, so let's get into it. Ooh, oh, a fade with a fist of trollocs. Million strong will wash across the land, killing land and eating and every person they find. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's the Battle of Winter then. Okay. Oh boy, they're not going to hold anything back. And you can't outrun a fade. And you can't outrun a fade. Let's listen to that again as I went over the audio. Armies of trollocs and fades a million strong will wash across the land. Killing and eating every person they find. And you can't outrun a fade. And you can't outrun a fade. I love her change in her tone and manner with her voice when she says, and you can't outrun a fade. But this is intriguing. Straight away, just from um, the dialogue and what is being spoken and the manner it is, is intriguing. We've known they're not going to be holding back when it comes to um, the level of, you know, violence or gore from want of a better word. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go away, gather my thoughts and maybe do a little bit more of a detailed breakdown for you guys as well in this video. So I'll be back in a sec. There are a few things that stick out to me that I want to discuss. And those are these. So to begin with, I believe there are two separate scenes happening within this 24 second clip. And those two scenes, I believe, are obviously the attack on Emmons Field. But I also believe it's the escape from Emmons Field that the group go on through Taran Ferry. And there's a few reasons why I believe that. Let's start at the beginning of this clip. We have... The Fade on horseback riding to the front of the uh, Fist of Trollocs. And you'll notice if we move a little bit further forward by a few frames in the scene, you will see that they aren't at uh, Edmunds Field any longer. In fact, I believe they're somewhere between the crossing from uh, the Taran Ferry where the group you know, go across with um, Master Hightower's barge and then they're on the opposite side of the river. And we also can't forget that we have a photo from the what we presume to be at the time shooting of Taran Ferry at night. Now, to me, matching with these two sh you know, shots on the screen right now, it looks quite an identical set. So this is another piece of evidence in my eyes that makes me believe that what we're seeing with this uh, fade on horseback is in fact the Taran Ferry crossing. And so I believe this is the passage where we are seeing the group having escaped from Emmon Fields with the Trollock cord on their tail. And then if we move further into the scene where we have the quite obvious scenes where we are seeing the um, townsfolk of Emmons Field be slaughtered and massacred by the Trollocs, you'll notice there's a di obvious difference in the way these scenes look and the way they're panned out. And then there's also a second reason why I believe that, and it's to do with the, ironically, the horse's hooves. Now, if you look, it's on a wooden platform, and I believe this is the um, beginning of where the river is, where you would naturally take that barge across to the other side. Now, if we're in Emmons Field and we take a look at some of the shots that we've got from all the other pieces of um, trailers and other clips, you will notice Emmons Field is naturally a um, dirt covered, um, you know, ground. There isn't this sort of pavement or um, wooden uh, planks as such. So this is another reason why I believe we are seeing two different scenes in this clip. And then, of course, not only that, we have Moraine and Lan also a little bit further into the clip where they're, um, they're, they're attending to their horses and I presume this is on the opposite side of the river. And to take note of this as well, if you look at their faces, they both look like they've been fighting or trying to escape from this horde of Trollocs because of all the dirt and dust and potentially a little bit of blood on um, Lan's face. Now, if this... Yeah, you can quite clearly see Lan's got quite a few cuts and bruises on his face, so this would further uh, vindicate my belief. And then not only that, 
if they were say in um, Emmonsfield at the time of these two scenes, I believe obviously they would have had a wash and they wouldn't be looking so worn out as they are. There's also a scene where the fade looks to be signalling an assault with the screaming from his voice. And this is taking place in the woods, so I believe this is a very small clip from a possible third different scene. And then we get the very quick um, shot into Emmons Field where they're now attacking the townsfolk. So I believe there's a lot of mischief at play and they're trying to put us off the scent of what's going on and trying to make us all believe we're in... Trying to make us all believe we're watching one scene when in fact we're watching most likely two, if not three, different scenes. Hey guys, so I want to just quickly touch on something Maureen initially says. Maureen obviously initially says, um, Trollocs a million strong will wash across the land, killing and eating every person they find. I mean, that vocabulary there, killing and eating. And then, you know, put that in tandem with what we see a little bit later in this 20 seconds. Where they've broken into... Um, uh, Emmons Field. And you see very quick shots of them killing the townsfolk. And it looks like it's going to be a bloodbath. So yeah, I think this is showing the direction that we all should be prepared for. And it's one that I'm very happy they've gone in this direction. I didn't want a watered down Wheel of Time show. I think, you know, from the way we read the books and the way the books are written to a degree, we lose sight of just how um, violent and gory these actual scenes we're reading would look on the screen or would look if we were watching them play out in front of our eyes and we're getting that with this show so that's yeah very interesting to see right guys so you've made it to the end of the video i hope you've all enjoyed it and let me know and let me know your thoughts down below do you agree with me and my belief that we're seeing a couple different scenes within this very short clip and do you also believe that it could potentially be Taron Ferry, like I've surmised? Once again, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it greatly helps the searchability of this video and help push the channel forward. I'll catch you guys all in the next video, which could even be tomorrow if they might even release an official main trailer. Alright guys, catch you later.